Hello friends, welcome to Yash Touch channel. I am Yash. Today I am making video under interesting topic that is order chain management. In short, we can say OCM. Order chain management is one of the important functionality in SAP PP. Friends, we can create order, we can release order, and after releasing order, we can do proper goods issue, good receive against that order. But suppose after creating and releasing order, we need to change any component quantity. We can add some component in the present order, then it's not possible in current scenario. But with the help of OCM functionality, we can make possible changes in the production order or release production order. So friends, let's move towards sheet. As I already told, OCM is nothing but order chain management, make possible the change data while processing. Processing means once production is start. OCM allow changes under restriction, uncritical changes, that is release order which had not been confirmed. The order change management process does not suppose in component for which batch split has been executed, co-product and sequence. Yes. Friends, there are some prerequisites for doing that order change management process. The prerequisites is nothing but to maintain change profile, maintain overall profile, activate master data process for OCM, create release key, creation of material for master data process and engineering chain management need to be activated for that particular uh, OCM process that is order chain management. So friends, uh, let's move towards demo. I created one finished material and it's bill of material that is bomb. So finish 781 is my FG material and my component material are ROA 782, 783 and 784. Currently, I maintain base quantity of this finished material is one as shown on this header data and component quantity of all material is one, one, one and same I updated here in my sheet. Finish material base quantity is one and raw material quantity is one, one, one. Uh, I already created routing for that finished material and production worker. So friends, my next step is to create production order for that finished material. So I copy that finished material, T code for creating order. That is production order is nothing but CO01. I put finished material plant and order type. I create order for quantity one. Here I put end date, backward schedule, yes. Here I put my all necessary data, that is finished raw material. I check my routing with control key PP03 and I check my component overview. Here friends, all bomb material components properly fetch with their respective quantity. It means my base quantity of header material is one and all component quantity is one. And I created also order of one quantity. So all the required component quantity should be one, one, one. Uh, yes, here is also storage location and backslash. Yes, I now I want to release that order and save it. So system gives me the message that release carried out properly. Now I want to save it. Once I save it, system give me a proper number. I want to check that number 6001089. Yes. Friends, my next step is to create engineering chain management profile. The T code for creating that profile is nothing but CC01. Here friends, I make chain number blank because the internal chain number type is chain master. Here friends, in function, I click on with release key, not without release key, but with release key and enter. Once I click on enter, system give me uh, facility to enter change master with release key description. So I put here ECM for the material is 781. Uh, I put proper description here, friends, I put proper valid date and status should be one release. Now I click on object type. Here I made changes for only bill of material. So I click on activation object and material uh, race. Indicators, all three indicators should be properly tick marked. 
बिकॉज आई यूज दैट ईसीएम फंक्शनैलिटी फॉर प्योर बिल ऑफ मटेरियल फ्रेंड ईसीएम इज ऑल्सो सेपरेट पार्ट और सेपरेट फंक्शनैलिटी आई ऑलरेडी मेक वन वीडियो इन इंजीनियरिंग चेंज मैनेजमेंट यू कैन सी दैट वीडियो एंड एट दैट वीडियो आई मेड ऑल चेंजेस इन बिल ऑफ मटेरियल राउटिंग एंड ऑल पार्ट but for that current osm process we can make only changes in bill of material so i select only that three tick mark now i want to click on object here friends there are number of bomb that is material bomb order bomb but uh, for production planning i use material bomb so here i maintain finished material proper plant uses and description yes enter and now i want to save it once i save it friend system give me one engineering change number or simply change number i copy that change number now friends what is the use of this change number i want to change my bill of material with the help of this change number so my next step is to go to bill of material in change mode i put that change number which i already created here and enter once i enter system allow me to change any uh, quantity of the model add any new material or delete existing material so i want to change quantity of that material from 1 to 6 or which 782 and second material i want to change from 7 1 to 9 same changes i already uh, uh, i will maintain in my excel sheet first material 1 to Six and second material that is R H seven eight three is one two nine and third material I am not changes any quantity so one as to uh, one I maintain here now I want to save it enter it first once I enter it system give proper change number which I already created for that finish seven eight one material here so my change number last digit is two zero six now I want to save it now I want to save it. once i save it and again go to the display mode and click all these changes has properly happened with the engineering change number uh, my first material is quantity 6 second material has quantity 9 and third material i uh, didn't change so my quantity should be 1 now i want to again go to that engineering change number i want to again go to that engineering change number in change mode t code is cc02 now and i put proper engineering chain number here and enter once i click on enter system allow me to put proper release key this is important step my uh, all of friends uh, we put proper release key which include release ocm tick mark which include release order chain management tick mark so 03 is my release key so i put here enter again enter now i want to save it now i want to save this so friends in this stage i properly maintain release key in engineering change management profile hmm. now friends my next step is to go important t code cocm cocm the cocm is nothing but order chain process here i put that engineering chain number i copy that engineering chain number and go to t code cocm here i put that change number here i click on tick change number process now my next step is to execute that cocm t code so once i execute cocm t code system give me here proper engineering chain number uh, proper date user id etc now i want to select it and execute it once i execute it the red color changes to yellow and once i select this here is my proper production order number which i made for that finish 781 material which i made for 7 finish 781 material now my next step is to select that order and click on procurement element click on procurement element so here friends system give me the proper procurement element uh this is the order number this is the finished material number description proper plant here is some fields is blank simulation order change determined change checked 
changes executed and closed. This all fields are now blank. Here is now engineering chain number and remaining field like user ID, date, etc. Now, now my next step is to select that line and click on execute button. Once I click on execute button, system give me the selection procedure. The selection procedure is nothing but determine changes, check changes and change original order. So I click on all these three tick marks. I click on this all three tick marks. That is determine changes, check changes and change original order and click here. Once I click here, system give proper checkbox in all four uh, tabs. That is check changes is determined. Uh, all changes done and changes executed close. Now my next step is to click on changes because we only maintain changes here, but not properly change. Once I click on change, changes will be executed. Yes. So once I click on changes, system view me that screen. The screen show that in our bill of material, we can maintain only two component changes. We can maintain only two component changes. Yes. One to six for raw material 782 and one to nine for raw material 782. But last material we didn't change. So here also only change material consider that is ROH 782 and ROH 782. The negative indicator means deleted and positive means changes. So I click on this positive button here, proper value comes. Here, proper value comes. Same also, I click on 783. Uh, uh, positive type button. So here also proper value come requirement type nine. Now friend, my next step is to go to production order. My next step is to go to production order. So my production order uh, number is 6001089. I open it in the change mode that is CO02 enter. Now my next step is to go to component overview. Here friends, you observe that there are new material and old material also presents means my roh 782 with quantity one is old material i change quantity one to six so again one material same material add roh 782 with new quantity my old material roh 783 with old quantity one is present and i already add it means changes in bill of material uh, 783 one to nine but last is there is no any change. So this is single material. First material is double. Second material is also double. But last material is single because there is no any change. So now uh, next step is if you scroll right side, you observe that there is one tab. The tab uh, show here with change ID, negative, positive. So negative means to be deleted and positive means added. Again, negative means to be deleted and positive means added. Here is change procedure. Now friends, my next step is to select only those material which need to be deleted and which need to be added in that production order. So friends, I click first, second material and again, third, fourth material because we need to delete my first component and add second component. We need to again delete my first component of second material and add second component. So friends, my next step is to go to component overview screen, change action and confirm it. Once I confirm it and deselect, you observe that there is deletion properly takes place with first uh, component material and second component material with quantity one. but the new change, change quantity of material that is ROH 782 and 783 is not changed. It's not changed. I want to save this production order. I want to save this production. Now my next step is to confirm that production order and again check whether properly 261 moment with new quantity will happen or not. So friends, I go to T code CO11 and here, here friends, I put my order number here i put operation now i want to go to automatic goods moment yes here friends you observe that my finished material quantity is one 
बट माय आर ओ एच सेवन एट टू क्वांटिटी इज सिक्स एंड आर ओ एच सेवन एट थ्री क्वांटिटी इज नाइन वाय बिकॉज वी चेंज क्वांटिटी वन टू सिक्स इन बिल ऑफ मटेरियल एंड क्वांटिटी वन टू नाइन इन बिल ऑफ मटेरियल बट लास्ट क्वांटिटी रिमेन्स सेम सो हियर इज ऑल्सो लास्ट क्वांटिटी रिमेन्स सेम नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू सेव दैट कन्फर्मेशन और प्रोडक्शन ऑर्डर कन्फर्मेशन अगेन इफ आई गो टू प्रोडक्शन ऑर्डर देन यू ऑब्जर्व दैट properly final issue means goods moment takes place only that new component not previous component look here properly goods issue means final issue takes place for only new component not uh, old component again suppose you go to documented goods moment here also 261 moment happen with new quantity material new new quantity material yes so friend this is the functionality of order change management in simple way we can say that order change management means we can change component once order is created once order is released means online online we can change component in the production order or we can change component of production order once order should be released so only ocm or with the help of ocm functionality it can be possible and it is one of the important functionality in production planning so friends uh, this is more about ocm or order chain management process next time i will come with one of the interesting topic that is serial management in sap pp meanwhile you like the channel subscribe the channel and share the video keep touch with your touch thank you